Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan, his wife, uh, announced plans to eradicate human disease by the year 2100. <laughs> um, they aim to develop. Why'd you, why'd you start laughing? I laughed. Oh, yeah. No, you, was... you, chuckled, you chuckled a little bit too, though. Not because I'm thinking that's 75 years ahead. Yeah, that, that was my thing. <laughs> like, yeah. damn, they're, they're really, that's succession planning for real. But that's how you got to think, though. No, that's, that's, how, that's, how, that's, how, that's how you got to think. I, we, I think we're aware of that, that that's how you have to think. And I know, Ian, that's something that you said. We got to plan for the next 100 years. But when we talk about the minuscule issues that are happening in social media, well, there are people who are trying to eradicate disease mm -hmm. 75 to 100 years from now. It just, I mean, when you think about that, we're dealing with both. The gravity of it. Yeah, it's... You gotta I mean, but that's always that's that's how that's always going to be the case. The, I was, well, the, the masses are controlled by a few select group of people, yeah. uh -huh. and you keep the masses entertained with a variety of non-important yeah. topics. And while they're meddling in their small good word. issues, the people at the top are controlling the world and focusing on big issues. That's been yeah. that's been the case since ancient Egypt. Yeah. Never gonna change, unfortunately. Yeah. But what can you do? So there, they um they have a plan to eradicate human disease by uh the year two thousand and one hundred, and they aim to develop a computing system that researchers can use with AI to uh, catalog cells and predict how they act when disease infiltrates. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna use artificial intelligence mm -hmm. to I mean, they could, they're already using AI in, in medicine now, but I guess they're going to use it to, you know, weed out uh, cancerous type cells and different issues that, that may arise um, even before or after a uh, situation. And that's something that um, they think could potentially end uh, human disease. And another thing about this situation 100 years out is that um, there are plans for people to live forever. Mm -hmm. So it's... Part of this is a legacy play, but well, part of it is that I want to die. Yeah, I mean, there, there is a, there is. It, it sounds like it might sound like I'm fantasizing, but once again, anything you see in the mute in movies actually probably will happen eventually. Absolutely. Um, if you don't think that Elon Musk already has some level of planning for a human being to live five hundred years, three hundred years, or forever. I mean, you got to be kind of crazy or on Mars. Well, we already know we already know the Mars thing. <laughs> yeah. That's already yeah. been, that's already been disclosed publicly. I'm just saying. I think that you know a lot of these things um, are made for humans to live longer. Like if they're gonna make a human clone, which they already talked about that. That's that's in works, if not yep. already been done. Um, why would they not plan for the human species or at least a select few? humans to have the ability to live forever it, it, people have always chased um being immortal going mm -hmm. back to egypt even the pharaohs right like that's something that since the beginning of time like that's always been intriguing for humans to have the ability to be immortal mm -hmm. well i think that we're in a time and age now where modern medicine yeah. um and, well, I'll, I'll hit a couple points real quick. So over there, it's recently came out. Um, insects have been eradicated or completely gone extinct at 2% per year. Uh, I think 65% of animals over the last 100 years have been killed off either through farming or hunting. One in six couples need help getting pregnant. And I think the sperm rate and fertility rate of men over the last 100 years has dropped 80%. Um, going back to problem solving. This model that they're building around genetic testing and how to eliminate disease would be the biggest business on earth if they are able to pull it off. Yes, yeah, pharmaceutical companies. Okay, like he built the biggest social media platform of all time. Whether he leveraged other IP to make it happen, he got the job done. What is your next thing that you're going to skate to? I keep, I've been telling everyone for the last at least two years publicly. Healthcare is the ultimate sector to be in, but health and tech merge together. Um, even with this iPhone dropping in value and innovation, and I got a little 
text from somebody um, about Apple not innovating. Yes, the new iOS is amazing, but I was told that a lot of their efforts are going into succession planning of making a bigger impact in healthcare over the next 15 to 20 years. That's why you're not seeing a rapid increase in the development of the iPhone. I don't know if it's true, but I want to give the news to the people. Um, is this potentially evil? Of course. Um, but I will say when you're thinking to build a business, if you can predict diseases and eradicate them, there's going to be, of course, I always worry about us to say if they can model a disease or build a disease where they get rid of us with a lot of it, but on a pure market value, um, if they can, are able to pull this off with the rate of inflation, this will probably be the first company that will be rated at, at one quadrillion. But then also, what, what, yeah. wouldn't that wouldn't that actually use in one way that solves a problem and in another way that actually creates a problem mm -hmm. because overpopulation has yeah. been something that, you know, has been talked about for the last 50 years. And the, the Earth's population keeps increasing, even though all those stats you named, it still keeps increasing at um, a very high speed, especially yeah. in on the continent of Africa and Asia. And um, I want to thwart that. Yeah. So so. Now, if you eliminate disease, now you accelerate that even more because. Well, or do you have a faster plan to depopulate quicker? Because if I know what every genetic test can, is and what disease can be prevented, I can yeah. also deploy diseases to get rid of people really fast, too. Well, here's the other part. Well, yes, that's true. But the other part is, and we've seen this in technology a few times, right? When the elite or the people, let's say like the 1% of the world, that can afford the, the technology, we'll be able to have it. So if we're talking about 100 years, they'll probably get it within 50 years. Yeah. You've seen that with the internet, right? Like the government had it 30 years before the general public had it. Even yeah. with AI, when we sat down with Robert Smith and Paul Judge, they were talking about using AI 20 years ago. Yeah. The general public is, is just being spoon-fed it right now. And so if we're talking about this 70 years from now, that means that there's somebody, there's a certain population that's going to have access to it way before the general public does yeah which now they can almost oversee the general population right because if they have tested this and they're going to be here forever they can kind of decide who they want to be here with us and control who won't be it, but yeah, the overpopulation thing um i'm not a the foremost expert in this but i've read a few articles and a few books that you can populate everybody in the world inside of africa or the united states if we had denser communities they just don't want that to happen are we strained on resources? Yes, but the strain has been caused by whoever sits above, if you will. So yeah. I think it's just more about having a bigger ruling class with less people and less people who are willing to revolt. Um, but from a pure market cap standpoint, if I was looking to build a company or deploy capital into a company, this would be like the perfect company to put it in. If you can predict every disease on earth and help because most he healthcare companies don't improve the health of the population. Not saying this one will, but if with all the AI they have and GPUs are being being bigger than ever, our issues are going to be incredibly important. With all the data mining that, that, that they've done at Meta, uh, formerly Facebook, for these past 15 years, if he can find a way to sequence that into genetics and make this a better version of the G human genome sequencing project, Company be worth quadrillion. If that so, if the company's worth quadrillion and it's running on supercomputers, and she said it's going to take, um, and when I say she, I'm, I'm talking about Priscilla Chen. Yeah. Uh, the computer system is going to take over a thousand GPUs. Then the, you should probably looking at the company that's making those GPUs. No, if that's going to be quadrillion, hypothetically, yeah. right? Hypothetically. 